Hi guys, I uh, just wanted to go over a couple of things for you. Um, a lot of you already know uh, how to do this. Uh, I wanted to go over a little bit of cleaning up the espresso machine, um, using the blank masks on the porter filters to kind of back flush the machine, using the Puro descaler uh, to clean it out as well. So if you already know, awesome, that's great, thanks for doing it. If you don't know how to do it, I'm gonna show you. So first things first is I usually take the um, I usually take the grate off first so that I can see the water come out the bottom into the drain and see kind of when I've flushed everything through. Uh, so the first thing you want to do if you're using a descaler is grab this brush from out of the drawer underneath the coffee maker. It has a little scooper on the end of it. Uh, it's about three grams or so. And three grams is what uh, this stuff, it's called Puro, it's a descaler. Uh, it's what they suggest as the amount to put into the porta filter when you're cleaning it out. So. Here's your porta filter, and we'll just put three grams in there, just a little bit. There you go. Um, and you know, I'll do this with both sides as well. Basically, you're just wanting to flush out the lines. Obviously, you can't put this stuff in the dishwasher. You can't run the espresso machine through the dishwasher, uh, and so you kind of want to get in the habit of regularly descaling it. So we'll put these into the machine. Um, and then on the back of the descaler bottle, it says to do it um, for 10 seconds at a time and do it five times with the Puro in there and then rinse out the porta filters and then do it another five times at 10 seconds a piece just with water. And um, if you look down underneath where the grate is, then you'll see it kind of starting to flush stuff out. So let's do it. There we go. So you notice, if you don't already know this, um, the far right button on either side of the espresso maker is just basically an on-off switch for the water. So as long as it stays lit, as long as you have it, have pressed it in. Uh, it'll keep going until you turn it off. So that's why, uh, that's what kind of what we use for descaling and cleaning it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse these out and then um, we'll do it with uh, just plain water. And a lot of times I'll put this back up in the machine, kind of jiggle it around and you'll see some of the brown water coming out. So it kind of clears out where that filter is up on top. Okay. That one's good. Get that ready for just the water. Do the same thing here. And you'll see when you do this, you'll see that it kind of cleans out a lot of the coffee grounds and stuff that have gotten stuck up inside there where the porta filter goes. Okay. There go. All right. So let's do it five more times just with water. Rinse all the stuff down in the tray area here. Same thing here, rinse this out one more time. So you never want to put this stuff in the dishwasher just because it'll start to really affect the taste of the espresso. That kind of dish soap will leave a weird smell, weird taste. Um, same thing with all the hoppers that you put the coffee beans in. Don't ever put those in the dishwasher, again, or wash them with dish soap. If you need to clean them out, just take the beans out and wipe it out. Uh, just use warm water if you need to, but no soap. Uh, if you actually need to clean it, then it needs to be soaked in a solution of water and the descaler as well. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as cleaning out the machine goes. Um, if you need to, uh, one other thing you can do is handy dandy scooper also has a brush on the other end of it so you can get up in here and kind of scrape a little bit there it's just a little plastic bristle brush and you can kind of scrape up there just make sure you get all the grounds out of there because um, anything that's stuck up there will start to affect the taste of the coffee so obviously we don't want that um, and as far as descaling the machine as far as back flushing machine um, that is exactly what uh, the process is so um, thanks again for everything you guys do and uh, we'll see you on the next